Hi everyone, it's the Jack and Mac Show. Back again with more rubbish and stuff to defecate. Have we started then? Have we started? <laughs> oh yeah. I suppose we've started, haven't we? Huh? Have you seen this? Spy Poison exclusive. Ah, oh, they must be getting desperate. More deadly Novichok dumped on the streets. Oh, okay. dumped on the streets. Police believe Russian assassins stashed two lots of the deadly nerve agent in Salisbury, where we were the other day. Yeah, yeah. Did you? On the park. Yeah. That stuff was seriously strong. Did, did you bring the bottle? Yeah, I brought it. Can I have a look at it? Yeah. Be careful though, because it was knockout. <laughs> it was a knockout, wasn't it? So, that chap that sm smashed one of these bottles, and they're supposed to be, have come from... Oh, wait, wait, wait. He smashed, Russian assassin. He smashed it, and then gave it to his girlfriend as a present. It don't make, <laughs> you, it don't make any sense, does it? Well, guess what this stuff is called that we found? Nouveau Chic. How about that? Can you see that? Yeah. Nouveau Chic. And it says, Eau de Toilette Sauvage. So, savage toilet water. <laughs> <laughs> Nouveau chic. <laughs> and it says Fabrique on Portadown, Salisbury. There you go. That's what we found in a park, the Queen Elizabeth Park the other day. That literally, I won't get it too close, but yeah, it did yeah, knock yeah, us out. Yeah. You know, the government, oh, they're such brilliant at this crap. Well, it's believable, isn't it? Believable. Full page story. And for, as you said, it, it was quite a knockout. <laughs> Oh look! Teletubbies are out again. Yeah, here you go. Shock, fear. We should get a couple of those and march around town in them. Can you see those green Teletubby outfits? How brilliant do they look? Oh, you've got to be joking. Anyway, what does it say? Can you read it? No. Russians sent two teams of Novichok assassins. One planted poison. The second mob carried out attacks on Scripples. Wait, if they planted the poison. Then surely, when these men in Teletubby outfits were searching the area for four months, they would have found it. No, we found it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want it back, government? Do you want it back, Portadown? That's where we found it, in that park. Yeah, absolute gold. Gold, oh, isn't it? Oh, yeah, gold. It was pure gold. Yeah, pure gold. <clears throat> oh, the scribbles still haven't come back on the scene yet. I don't know whether they actually existed in the first place. So there's still some out there, so they just cover their backs so they can... Um, Blame Russia again. Or have another false flag attack on some crackhead or some alcoholic or or just get rid of some. But this was Salisbury, yeah. where we were. There's something really ancient odd. and odd in that mm. area. Have you seen this book? Ooh. Now this is an expensive book if you can get it. It's about 700 quid on eBay. I don't, think, I don't know whether Amazon have got it. This is a mind, it's a mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing, mind stretching history of our galaxy. And what's two thirds? 66.6 recurring. 666. And in here, they've got 200 illustrations. And there's the inside of the Great Pyramid at Giza. And it says that is a cross section of a hyperdrive computer. And all of this went on in Salisbury. And, I wonder if that's and why, Avebury. I wonder if that's why they were scared to recap it and resurface it in case it come back in online. In case it did come back online, yeah. because it doesn't work as well, does it now? But basically, this is going on about the Altians. Oh, here's a little interesting thing. David P. Myers, two thirds. Ulysses Publishers, 1993 paperback. This is the New Age equivalent equivalent of Ulysses. Long and out of print, this weighs in at a whopping 500 plus pages, including the vast illustrated appendix by Dave Percy. It says, um, and there has never been anything like it before or since. It pretty much explores and links everything to everything, like I mentioned. You name it, from the face on Mars to sacred geometry and crop circles. And this, what else is in Salisbury, Avebury area? Yeah, and the place above and below it. Uh, Stonehenge. That was a pyramidal... Pyra conical. A conical pyramid years ago. It's all in here. Highly recommended by several enthusiasts of esoteric and arcane knowledge. It is in virtually new condition with no creases down the spine. And I paid 10 quid for it. But it's normally a 700 quid book. Um, 
It goes on about the technology of the spinning disks to completely substitute for fossil fuels and primitive rocket travel. No, we, we have a dimensional physical part. We haven't actually it's, read it yet. I haven't read it. It's, it's, We've it's just vast. had a quick blast through and it's very interesting stuff. But it might. Girlfriend says to read this. Hi, honey. And she said that this will actually blow your minds if you, you get this. But it's it's interesting to think that all of this stuff is going on in Salisbury and Avebury and this Novo Chic perfume that they found. I'm, I'm sure that all of this is connected and how come they're doing it there? Isn't it strange that 666, which is that number, add it together comes to 18, which comes to what in quantum? Nine. Nine. Six plus six is 12, mm. plus six is 18, and one and eight is... Nine. Oh, surprise, surprise. We're only talking about 333 three, three the other day, and that's free, Freemasonry. Oh, can I? Can you let me have that perfume bottle again? That Nouveau Chic. Do you know what else they could have brought called this? Brute 33. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. It was that bad. <laughs> Do you want to sit? No, no. I could, I could have Not a Not the last time. <laughs> That was the end of the Gak and Mac show for good. That was the end of the Gak and Mac show for good. That was the end of the Gak and Mac show for good.